The fate of the black community is on the line this weekend. Allegiances will be made. Lines in the sand will be drawn. And there will be a lot of col colorism on the table because there is Lamar Jackson versus Patrick Mahomes. And this is the thing I want to say about this, man. We got. I, I hope it doesn't get to the level that I think it's gonna get on the on the TL. We stop saying, "Oh, nigga, he's he's the he's a real black quarterback," and, and, and things like that. But I think that we need to kind of appreciate this moment, as there used to be a time where there wasn't any black quarterbacks. Now we're getting black quarterback matchups every damn week, and especially in the playoffs. But I'm seeing the uh, the stuff that's gonna come on the TL. It even started last night. I tweeted that last night with the uh, with the Jonathan Majors breaking up the fight between the kids pick and somebody's like i'm going with the real black man it's very nasty uh bang you were laughing when i said this what do you think about like the off off football field storyline we got here hey this is black history because it's not like you know we getting like a random ass black it's not like we getting like sean king going up against donovan mcnab or something not no disrespect to sean king but you know what i'm saying like the two quarterbacks that we have going against each other is possibly the two best quarterbacks in the NFL. You got Lamar Jackson, who's going to be um, the MVP of this season. Um, and then you have Patrick Mahomes, who's the MVP every other season. Um, so this is definitely one of those situations where, you know, when when they pe when when people say the tide has changed and when you hear sometimes it be sounding corny as hell. And maybe I, I'm wrong for saying it, but sometimes with Patrick Mahomes as be at the podium talking about some, you know, when the kids is you know see this, you know, growing up, yada yada yada. You know, you know, <laughs> that should be sounding corny as hell, fam. I'm sorry. That should, <laughs> that should be sounding when you wish upon a star it makes no difference who you are and shit. Like get the fuck up out of here, except for this moment right here like it is dope to see the two best quarterbacks in the league be two brothers and they're going up against each other um to get to the super bowl so i love it you know this is this is what we want and these are the two best teams even though i picked buffalo last week i said i really want patrick to go up against lamar i want roquan to go up against patrick i want i want this i want the, I want Ray Lewis to come out and do the dance. Where's Peter Bow? Where is he still around? <laughs> like, like I want like all of the old Ravens, the black Ravens to come through and be ready for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So no, I nigga love said, it. Get, get Chris McAllister out here, nigga. Like, yeah, get Chris McAllister out here in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I want all like and in, in, in Baltimore too. Yeah, and no. first time Baltimore has ever hosted the AFC Championship game. Right. That shit was weird yeah. than a motherfucker. But no, I love this. This is what football is about. This weekend, right here, this particular game, excuse me, to the point. I was like, why is this the first game? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, that's a good point. Why is it? <laughs> why is this the first that's, game? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, it's right. probably be it might be some schedule that CBS got to get the first game. I don't give a some, I don't give a shit. Oh. But no, tell me, no, I did not. The Niners at home, right? Yeah, the Niners yes. at home. Yeah, that's why. I don't give yeah, a oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Because of because of y'all got to yeah. be on our superior time zone. So and, yeah, you got to think we they're not gonna have us up at nine p.m. watching that game. So uh, Man, hey, or early as hell. So you hey, got to do it. I'm gonna tell you like this: it's gonna be so much energy that's that's thrown out towards that game. I'm probably not even gonna give a damn about San Francisco versus Detroit anyway. Oh, that's definitely no, gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I really don't care that much about the NFC championship game because, in my opinion, whoever ends up playing anyway is, is probably gonna lose to the winner of the, the AFC. Winner, yeah, the winner of this game is winning the Super Bowl. And I, I feel like the reason y'all say that this is definitely the uh yo, y'all wanna throw, uh, y'all wanna uh, go grab some beer real quick. Like at least the first half of, of that game is what it's gonna be like that. But also, I'm gonna tell you why why people look at it like that way too. The, 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 the AFC is the Avengers of quarterbacks. You got Pat, you got Burrow, you got Lamar, you got Allen, you know, whatever. Them niggas, you know, you ever seen that meme on, on Twitter of the dragons and they'd be like two serious dragons and then like, you know, two dragons who don't look uh, intimidating and it's like two of these don't belong yeah, here. And it's that's, that one that looks. That, yeah, that's the NFC. That's Brock Purdy and uh, and, and Jared, Jared Goff. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what that is, man. But it's going to be a lot of energy in there. Uh, you know, it's going to be different uh, delegations. And I also feel like this. And you said the same thing, uh, Bang Bob. Pat don't be helping himself. <laughs> uh, Pat don't be helping himself at all. You know what I'm saying? With, you know, going up there, he sounds like, uh, he sounds like Squidward. You know what I'm saying? If, if anybody, you know, knows from, you know, Spongebob Squarepants, that's what he sounds like. But 
Um, Dante, what do you think about them? I'm gonna keep going to the Morehouse, man. I'm, I'm gonna keep saying that about this. I, it's all know. black <laughs> mashup. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, you know. Uh, the mixed brothers versus the full brother Negroes, as a lot of people are calling it. It's gonna be a very, <laughs> very talented, a lot of talent on the field, but more than anything, bro, it's gonna be a, a culture clash. Like we talk about Pat, you know, we make the jokes about his wife and his family and all of that other shit. Now, but Taylor Swift, you know, always being the tag along in the uh, in the suite. And then you got Lamar, who's waiting on Kodak Black to get out of jail to put him in the suite for the game. So uh, it's a culture clash, but at the same time, it's two really great quarterbacks. So I think it's good for the game, and it's showing everybody that, you know, uh, Kurt Warner was talking about this earlier, how back in the day they were always saying you can't win with mobile quarterbacks. And now that is something that's a part of the skill set. Like you have to have that in your bag. Otherwise, you're not going to be a good quarterback. So we got two of the best. Uh, something dope that I hope we can see more often. I know everybody's stuck on the uh, the um, Pat Josh rivalry or whatever, but that's really starting to look like Brady Phillip Rivers. Like it's cool, but he be beating his ass. <laughs> yeah, that's, like, that's Brady Phillip. <laughs> Brady <laughs> Manning to me is more yeah. Burrow Mahomes. It, yeah, Burrow exactly. Beat this nigga, and honestly, should have beat him last year. I still that's, don't like that that roughing, crazy, that roughing call. That's still so crazy to me, though. And again, I know I, I make my jokes about Josh Allen, but that man needs a change of scenery. I think he, he needs does. a change of scenery. We got to get Josh, Josh Allen. Allen. We, we going like to get you out of there. We going to get you out of there. We going to get you out of there. Wait a minute. Change the scenery from Buffalo? Yeah. Oh, wow. It ain't going to happen. I think yeah. you got to get him out of, that, out of that division at the I'm very least. Bill or Belichick. get him out of the AFC. Because if he has to keep running into Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow, that brother is cooked. Bill Belichick cooked. or Jim Harbaugh, I'm telling you, get Sean McDermott ass up out of here. But, uh, Cordy, what do you think about overall about, about this about this matchup, you know, from you know from both perspectives, on the field, off the field? Oh, I think it's fantastic. Um, I know it's your worst nightmare. Um, I, it's not my. I do not hate <laughs> Lamar Jackson. I I do. I am. I do not hate Lamar. I don't know anybody. No, I, I think I'd be hating if Jordan Love was in this motherfucker. I think it's great for the game. Um, you know, I think it's great for for kids to see black quarterbacks. You know, in, in these types of positions. Um, I'm here for it. Uh, I do fear the idea of a Detroit uh, Baltimore Super Bowl in L in Vegas. Woo! That sounds Watch your pockets if you in Vegas. Oh my God. <laughs> Michigan and Baltimore niggas in one city? Oh, oh man. Goodness. Mm -mm. Uh, but nah, the, I I think it's awesome. I'm here for it. Then paper on this player haters old news money on the other line so I'm not going to hold you. Money on the other line so I'm not going